I'm just going to give a brief overview of how we teach because we teach slightly different than uh, faculty that have like a, a semester long class. Okay, so what happens is a, a, we have a library instruction request form on the homepage of the, the library's website. And when you click on that, I just have to use the bouncy. <laughs> when you click on that, you're, you're taken right to the uh, ooh, information literacy instruction form. Yeah, maybe you'll change that. <clears throat> and you're given two choices where you can have face to face, uh, where you can bring your class in. Um, the classes that we normally have are like English 1010, uh, Psychology 1010, um, but it can be just about any class where they have a research component to it. Um, so you can fill this out. Uh, you select like several dates that might be. Uh, I guess best for you in our um, what is it, library instruction, no, the uh, scheduler, Julie Siegel, uh, she like makes appointments for you. And you bring them to uh, either A109 or uh, sometimes we go to UTC or the Laura Carl College Center. Okay, and this is A109. Uh, there's about 30 student computers there. We have a smart podium there. Um, you know, there's a nice screen like this here. And one of the things I wanted to do is uh, I try to make the class very interactive because I get bored if I'm just talking like I am now. Uh, <laughs> so I try to make it interactive. Um, I believe me and uh, the library director, Priscilla Thompson, uh, we went to an icebreaker session a few years ago and they came up with these icebreaker videos. So one of the things I do at the beginning of class, because a lot of times a class may be scheduled for 10 o'clock, for instance. Um, but they don't start showing up till maybe like 10.05 or something like that. So for the students that first show up, I'll show them like a video. How many passes does the team in white make? Go! You know, so I try to make the class a little more interactive. So when coming up with some kind of technology that I was going to use for ITPD, uh, to tell you the truth, I was very stressed out. I was, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I'm the hugest procrastinator. So basically, the day before, <laughs> I had to come up with something. So I went to uh, Net Support um, because a lot of things we use is through Net Support. Um, so I went to Net Support. Oh, that's right. This one. Um, and I went to the quiz feature because um, Mona had showed us a few things on here. And the quiz features is first to answer, enter and answer potluck, uh, team first to answer, and team enter and answer. And uh, the reason why I wanted to have a quiz feature is because students are very competitive. I mean, everybody's competitive. They always want to win something. You know? So I said, why not make a competition? Um, so the one I chose was uh, first to answer. A lot of times I'll go down to the book scanner to do it. Well, I'll use a scanner that's outside the office. Uh, this I just use Scanner Pro. It already knows where the edges are. It takes a picture of it just like that. And then I can just do black and white. And I got a really clear image of, of that. And I can just send it right to the rep. Yeah, so it's really nice and sweet. <laughs> 